What's going on YouTube? Jason here. Today I will be unboxing a King Seiko uh, SPB365J uh, 110th Anniversary Limited Edition. Alright, so I bought this watch from uh, the value proposition, a carousel seller uh, based in Singapore. And uh, the MSRP is 2000 US dollars, although your mileage may vary. I apologize first for the construction sounds. As you can see, I'm not at my usual unboxing desk. Nevertheless, I cannot seem to get away from uh, the construction noises. So let me just begin by removing the sleeve that the, you know, the retailer should have removed before passing it to me all right let me gently do the taylor swift all right shaking it off all right so this is a box in somewhat of a concrete gray usually uh, the boxes that i see they are in a bit of a black glossy feel all right so let me just try to shake it off again all right uh, okay so here we are, the sleeve. Okay, this is the uh, pouch that the watch comes in with the King Seiko emblem. It does remind me of uh, the FC Barcelona, FC Barcelona logo, doesn't it? Or at least parts of the uh, logo for the football club. So Real Madrid fans, maybe this is one watch that you might want to seat out. All right, let me just remove it. Buttons. All right, compartments. So I'm guessing that this is the uh, manual and the guarantee card is at the back. All right, let me just leave it here. So uh, I ordered this watch just based on the, just based on the, the press releases online and oh it comes with a strap with the the with a buckle all right let me just slide it out uh, all right that's here you go all right so this is the supply uh supply leather strap uh, supply leather strap with the buckle says here L O N W B 19. So we are getting a 19 mm lug with how annoying. All right, so let's look at the watch proper. I bought the watch because of the dial, but I have issues. All right, so here you go. Here you go. I'm not lying to you. All right, so the retail price is uh, of this watch. It's uh, 23, 236,500 yen, inclusive of tax, I believe, if that's the word inclusive of tax, or maybe it's exclusive of tax. Interestingly, this is SDKS013, but I just read out to you that the, the, the reference number is SPB365, all right, celebrating 110 years of watchmaking. There's always a birthday for Seiko to celebrate and to sell some watches all right so we are looking at the uh the watch proper let me just put the things aside so we can get some focus on the dial let me just zoom in a bit all right so let's just look at the dial first impression there's no sticker all right oh there's no sticker here on the right you can see the windows and some natural light and so this is the uh alleged Turtle shell inspiration with the uh, Fiume down, all right, gradient down. Let's look at the rest of the watch, a seven link bracelet, seven link bracelet and a uh, sign King Seiko here. We have got uh, the solid case back with the protective stickers on, all right, seven links. So I have... I'm now able to ascertain that the watch is indeed a 19mm is indeed of 19mm lug width. Let's look at the profile again. You see the uh, King Seiko emblem here. A lot of uh, brush polishing at the sides and on the chamfer. Is the chamfer reflective polish? Yes, the chamfer is uh, has reflective polish. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, let's put it on some perspective. Oh, I'm wearing a 
Casio Oceanus. All right, so I think this is the best watch for 500 Singapore dollars until you need to service it. All right, now, let me just put this aside. My wrist for your reference is six and one quarter. All right, let me just run through some dimensions. Uh, the watch has got a 37mm case, luck to luck, 43.1mm and uh, the uh, thickness 12.1 inclusive of the uh, box shape sapphire crystal. Right, let me just slide it on my wrist. There is no, there isn't a, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? There's no plastic on the top. Alright, so you can see wears well although i might add that the leg the lugs look a bit long feels i know this is supposed to be how uh, the king seiko looks like but it feels a bit uh longin like the lugs are a bit long am i getting enough like can you see it okay so it sits well on my wrist all right one thing i noticed about seiko watches is that they manage to sit well on uh, our wrist all right so you don't see the uh, case back creating some issues let me just zoom in on the down and let you see the six the, the, the tortoise shell all right so apparently apparently uh, the texture on the down is supposed to uh, you know pay tribute to the fact that I think one of the factories is in uh, Kame Ido for those of you who watch Dragon Ball Z, you will know that Kame, Kame actually means turtle, turtle or tortoise. And uh, this is the tortoise shell shape uh, apparently. We have got uh, Seiko in golden text at the 12 o'clock position matching the second hand. And uh, King Seiko automatic text in white at the 6 o'clock position i will try to give you some outdoor shots overlay on this uh this unboxing video once i get about home all right so uh things i need to let you know all right case dimensions we talk about it the bracelet all right the seven link bracelet a lot of brush polishing on the bracelet i think it's a pin here yeah, it's a pin pin system all right so you have got to get someone to knock it out and then here is the bracelet all right let me just buckle it together okay okay that's the bracelet very well finished and the case bag we've talked about the case bag i'm not going to remove the sticker yet but you know the watch is water resistant to 100 meters right the watch is water resistant to 100 meters and uh, something about the down furniture I've got to mention. All right, so we have got stick indices, very well polished, very well finished. All right, see how it plays with the light again. Uh, natural light on the right, pretty much not so good indoor lighting on my left. Let me just work my uh, light setup here again, if for your for better viewing. All right, dolphin handset, dolphin handset. Okay, so let me just put it there and then what do I want to talk to you about more? That is the movement. I was mentioning and or hopefully I mentioned that uh, I got this watch just based on uh, the press releases, the press write-up. And uh, for the price, 2000 US dollars, I thought, I thought that since it's a King Seiko, I would be getting a uh, 6L movement. All right, I do have a watch that has got a 6L movement. My SJE073, uh, right, the Presage. All right, there you see it's a push-pull crown. Yeah, it's a push-pull crown. Uh, however, after, after uh, you know, reading the spec sheet in more detail, but after I had uh, made my deposit with uh, the value proposition, I realized that they are actually using a 6R31 movement which has got uh, 70 hours of power reserve accuracy of minus 15 and plus 15 seconds a day. And, uh, but, but, but it beats 3 ticks a second. Alright, let me just slide it to the 10 o'clock position. So what's wrong with the 6R31 movement and why I prefer the 6L movement? Because the 6L movement is a newer movement. 
the 6R31 movement, I will leave a link to one of, uh, what they call, uh, an article about, uh, about the issues with this movement for King Seiko is that uh, 6R31 really is based on the 7S26 movement that is seen on uh, the uh, SKX as well as I think some of the older shoe logo Seiko 5 so so 7S26 after the, using that as a template they made several changes um, but essentially this 6R31 movement which beats uh, 3 ticks per second is uh, based on so uh, the 6L movement is supposed to compete with the Swiss movement and uh, it's a uh, slightly slimmer and uh, more accurate and I would have to admit that for the price I am paying I would have uh, expected at least a 6L movement all right that, that could be wishful thinking I had thought it was a 6L movement that's why I got this watch all right the other two reasons is because it would be my first King Seiko and that it is also it is also a limited uh, vision Otherwise, if I were to go for pretty dolls, you know, presages, I have many presages in my collection. In fact, in fact, uh, Seiko, they released the uh, Sharp Edge series and uh, the Sharp Edge series was also very uh, attractive to me. However, again, I have several dolls that, that you know, have a nice looking, nice looking textures all right so i can go on the Lee seiko mojito my grand seikos they all have lovely dolls so the issue with this movement is that you're essentially paying for the badge all right the king seiko badge as well as the fact that it is a limited edition all right so i will try to overlay some outdoor shots after i get the watch resize on my six and one quarter inch wrist all right so if you have got any questions, do let me know, all right? Meanwhile, meanwhile, I will just uh, slowly head back and uh, get this watch resized. All right, so if you are still here, let me just show you some of the profile shots, all right? Apologize, apologies for this uh, low production video, all right? So I really am not paid enough to do these reviews, okay? Right, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.